Hi and welcome. I'm Reverend Ali Bierman and you are joining us here today at our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. What is a metaphysical ministry? It's all about the fact that what you sense, what you hear, what you taste, what you smell, what you touch, and what you see, that's limiting, right, to your five senses. The fact is that's less than one percent of what exists out there in the world. The more than 99% of what exists you will become aware of as you evolve, as all of us are right now, into multi-sensory beings. So you might be aware that you can sense an energy, feel a presence, like you could be sitting alone in a room and suddenly you just know somebody walked in even though they were so quiet, sure enough, there they were. Becoming aware of more than you've ever been aware before allows you to have a fuller experience of life. We begin every week with a happy share. A happy share is about something that left you feeling happy, feeling peaceful, feeling calm, feeling really, really good. It's not about something that happened for your spouse or your best friend, for your parents or your kids. It's about something that left you feeling really, really good. My happy share this week. Well, last week here in America, we celebrated Thanksgiving. And I get to be with some of my very close friends out here in Idaho who are, for me, their family out here. Had a really, really fun time and it was really delightful. And though I made a really outstanding lime lemon pie, I didn't have to do any more cooking. I didn't even have to do that. I did that because I wanted to bring a special gift to contribute to the event. What's your happy share? If you scroll down there and you share it, guess what will happen? Your subconscious mind can't tell the difference between the fact of reality happening in the moment or your imagination remembering something that happened. Therefore, you get to relive the moment. You get to have all the feel-good chemicals rushing through your body. So when you share your happy share, and you do it every day, as you're looking for more and more things that make you happy, not only do you get to feel good, literally, chemically boost your health all over again, but you'll also begin to see more and more things to be happy about. And the universe will look down at you and say, wow, Allie's really looking for things to be happy about. I think I'm going to give her a whole lot more stuff. You'll watch your life change as you create the habit of happiness because it'll also raise your frequency up to where everything that you want in life, all your desires, they're up here. So you need to move from down here to up here so you can allow them in. Now this week I want to talk with you about something that I discovered when I did my the telesummit last month i did a telesummit that was all about your body your money and your relationships empowering women and i had a couple guests talking about how change doesn't always come from inside first which is something i know i've been teaching for a long time so i love when people make me think and i've been seeing this in more and more places in my world and you know what? I totally agree. When you change your appearance on the outside, did you ever notice you feel better? When you get a new outfit, or years ago when I lost a gazillion pounds, <laughs> my clothes were falling off me, they were baggy, they looked awful, it made me feel a little bit droopy. But I got new clothes that fit really nicely. I not only looked sharp, but I felt amazing. So when you start from the outside, you can change everything about you. And I'm not just talking about your appearance. Though if you go to a really outstanding image consultant, like the person who I use, Lauren Solomon, who's now located in California, just moved there from New York a couple years ago. Someone good like that goes and sees who you really are. What are you all about? What's your purpose on life? And helps you to know how to show that in your hairstyle, in your makeup, if you wear makeup, in your clothing, in your whole outward appearance. Appearance, yes, and your appearance also. 
and then I've been watching Wayne Dyer and yesterday I came across some really cool stuff on TED Talks. In fact, going up over here, click that link, watch that short video, and you'll be amazed at how your body language not only reveals what's going on inside for you, but you can use it to instantly change how you're being. And when you change some of your simple postures and you just hold them like for two minutes, you do that before you go into a job interview, before you go out to give a speech, whatever the situation is, when you place yourself in that power energy, it's not just a temporary fix. It's something you incorporate. So while change happens from the inside out at the deepest level, you can begin it from the outside and bring it in. You will incorporate it because it's all a matter of how you feel about you. And that's what creates the new programs that you can run because everything in life is about being happy first. Everything in life is about the degree of love. Now if you're on our ministry site and you look up above, you will see a page called Hold a Space For. On Hold a Space, it's the same thing as saying, I want this in my life, will you help me to envision it? So it's about creating a thought. People will make a vision board or affirmations, different ways of seeing themselves already immersed in their new situation. They might want a new house. They might want a new job. Maybe you want a new relationship. Maybe you want better health. Whatever it is. And you can't do this for somebody else. If there's something you want us to help you manifest, you just go on down below, leave a comment, and it will magically appear up on that page. You come back at least once a week and tell everybody you know. You read every name on the list and what it is they want a space held for. And that way the thought form going out to the universe with the request gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And at divine timing, it will become manifest in your life. Divine timing, if and when it's in your highest and best interest. Now you don't have to know who anybody is because the universe knows. So just read the name, what it is they asked us to hold the space for. It's really very simple and it's really very powerful. We've seen people manifest cars, new living spaces, finding uh, degrees in school that they didn't even know existed. Thank you so much for coming by today. If you haven't done so already, go in over there and leave your name and email address and get a copy of my short ebook, How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. Enjoy a wonderful, peaceful week learning what a power pose is, implementing it, implementing the happy share, and your life will change so fast. You'll like, whew, what happened? Where's it been for so long? Blessings.